while regaining momentum, today we highlight GCC travel trends in the now normal. For the outbound business, we people are looking to, towards Africa, people are looking at Rwanda, we look at Europe and then we are looking at Ireland. Ireland is going to be one of the top destinations uh, in the coming years from UAE as well. Besides that, Turkey is one of the biggest uh, uh, source market for us for both inbound and outbound. Around the GCC and within the GCC, you know, one of the big market is Saudi Arabia, which is open for Saudis to travel, those who are vaccinated. The traditional markets of Russians and the CIS countries, they are already here. You could see there was a high demand during Eid Day and it is still continuing uh, even after Eid. So uh, the rates have gone up. That means the demand is there. The travel obviously has changed and I think we all understand that from the travel industry perspective. It's just not about uh, trans transporting people or somebody traveling from point A to B. Now it's all about trying to understand what are the policies, what are the rules and regulations with regards to the whole you know, environment is changing. I think that is becoming such an important part of a customer experience. I have a very positive note. Uh, uh, for March, we are running 96-97% occupancy in both hotels in Sharjah and Ajman. And uh, this is really giving uh, a confidence uh, that there is a business. And we are thankful to few markets like, for example, the Russian, Ukrainian, uh, Belarus, uh, and especially you know, Central Asia, uh, particularly in, in Kazakhstan. Quite market now is uh, need to travel. They ask uh, for, uh, for example, uh, for some destination that is the border is closed. For example, as the France, every day they ask uh, when they will open. Uh, we need it for this destination. For example, Paris, uh, Courchevel. If they will say it about uh, Germany, they ask about all around the world. Need the travel. They uh, hungry for travel. <laughs> Vaccine penetration will be key, both for the traveler, but also for where to go. People are very comfortable coming to places like Maldives and Dubai because the vaccine rates are very high. Uh, this is going to be key for, for both uh, domestic and international destinations. I believe that uh, as of now our clients are looking for something which is more relaxed, which has, uh, which is more like resorts uh, far away from the city. They don't want a lot of hustle bustle. Everyone's been missing the, missing the chaos, but also they want to be safe. Sharuk to develop two projects at Korfakkam and Sharjah. Qatar Airways to resume Phuket flights from the 1st of July. Air Seychelles to operate more flights from Dubai to the Indian Ocean this July.